Hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, today we're going to do a quick video to show you how to uh, plug power in and the different power options into your Blackbird. Um, if you don't go with a battery option, what you're going to receive is a power adapter and a 10 foot extension cord. And so it's as simple as plugging the adapter into a power outlet. And assuming you're more than three feet away from the spinning wheel, you're going to plug your extension cord into that. And then the other end goes in here. This is actually a pretty tight plug or tight fit. Um, you don't have to feel like you have to push it all the way in. As long as it's in any distance at all, it's going to work. Um, and then you can turn the power switch on. However, you've got to make a choice in order to get it to run between either the foot pedal or the foot pedal shunt. And so the shunt is basically just a foot pedal that's kind of wired to on already. So if you don't want the extra hassle of the foot pedal, then you can just use your, sh your shunt. So we'll go ahead and place that where it goes. Um, verify the direction of your spin. And... Uh, and then give it some speed. All right. Now some of you are going to have a battery option and the difference with it is pretty simple. It has the same connectors except it comes with this Y cable. And so the Y cable you plug one end of it into the battery and the other male end of it would go into the uh, Blackbird. But the trick is the battery has a power switch. You can see this off on switch. And so of course you've got to turn the battery on before it'll actually put any juice out. And a word of wisdom, it actually has to be switched to on in order to charge. So when this is plugged into the battery or the wall adapter, um, the lights will actually light up but you have to make sure that this switch is in the on position for it to actually take charge. Um, but now that we've got it, the battery pack powered on and plugged into the wheel, you see we can turn the wheel on again. Now this is just the wheel running directly off the battery. Let's say you want to charge the battery while you're running the wheel and that's when you can bring the power adapter in again. So with this extension cord or without the extension cord, it doesn't matter, but that's where this end goes to the wall adapter. And so now at this point, we're actually charging the battery and running the spinning wheel at the same time. I think that's good really for the power options. Uh, thank you very much and we'll see you on the next video.